How's it going you guys? In this video, I'm going to show you how to add a watermark to your photos, whether you edit on your computer or if you edit on your phone. So adding a watermark to your photos is important for a lot of reasons. What if you post a photo and it blows up and people are taking it, posting it all over the place, but as long as your name, your watermark is on the photo, you're all set. You're good. Everyone knows your name is there. And also it gives you an opportunity to add a little bit of fun personality and, and like a little signature to your photos, which can be really cool and fun. So the first thing I'm going to do is show you how I make watermark on my computer on Photoshop. The second thing I'm going to do is show you how to add a watermark on your phone if you just edit on your phone and you don't use Photoshop. So uh, first let's get right into how I do it on my computer. So I edit all of my photos here in Adobe Photoshop and so that's where I also add my watermark and it's actually incredibly simple how I add my watermark. It, I just go to the text tool and I type it in. That's it. I have a very special font that I use for all of my Sirdoric branding and everything and that's what I use for my watermark. And then I'll just type in my name on the bottom left hand corner. That's it, Sir Dork. And then afterwards, what I'll do is I'll change the opacity of this text layer to be a little bit less, so it's not totally in your face. And then the Sir Dork watermark, that's literally it. That's how I do my watermark. I did go out of my way to find this very special font that I like, so let me show you how I found my font. I go to my browser and I'll go to dafont. Com. This website is awesome. They have like a million billion fonts on here that are completely free to use and download. So let's just go over here to this sci-fi section over here and just see what they got. So there's so many, like you can see here, there's literally a million and just on this sci-fi thing alone, there's 56 pages. Just have some fun choosing one that's awesome. So let's say if you really want to use this one, Origin Tech, it says right here, free for personal use. If you are just going to be using it for fun on your toy photos, on Instagram, whatever, go for it. But if you ever want to use your toy photos for anything more, any kind of monetary purposes, make sure you get one here like this that says 100% free. So let's grab this one. I think this is cool. So click download and save it. Then once you finish downloading it, you're going to want to open it up. You're going to want to right click on it and extract it first double click on it and then click install. So now in Photoshop, if you go to your fonts, that new font should be available in here. Just remember what it's called, which was nasalization. Cool. And there it goes. There it is. So let's say you want to spice it up a little bit more than just the font itself. Open up Photoshop, go to new file, make sure the background is transparent. Make sure it's nice and big just in case. So let's just do 3000 by 3000. There it is. So get the text tool and get your font that you want. So let's type in Sir Dork. There we go. It's definitely good to still keep it as simple as possible because you don't want anything too complicated going on. And definitely try to keep it one color too, just to make it as easy to show up and mess around with as much as possible. So I'm just gonna draw a nice little oval around Sir Dork. Okay, so I got my little circle here. I'm going to right click on the layer I just made and rasterize it just like that. And then I'm just going to erase a little bits of here so you can still see the whole thing. Using the eraser tool, turning my hardness all the way up and making the brush a little bit bigger also. And erase. There. Now I got a cool little circular Sirdork watermark. Now I'm going to file and save it. And I'm going to make sure it is saved as a PNG very important so it's translucent watermark there we go so now at any time I can pull up the watermark that I made this PNG file copy it control C control V and I can put it wherever I want so right now I want it to be white so I'm gonna hit control I and it will automatically inverse the layer a little big so let's go to edit transform scale There it is, looking pretty nice. Bring my opacity down so it's not totally in your face. And there it is, there's the watermark. Not too bad, looks pretty good down there actually. Looks kinda cool, I think I'm still gonna stick with my old one though. So that's how I do it on my computer. Let me show you how to make a watermark while you're editing on your phone. 
So there's a lot of apps you can get on your phone that can get a watermark, but I'm gonna recommend this one that's called My Watermarks. Really, really easy to use. Just hit start, choose your photo, hit next, choose from one of the cool different watermark examples they have. Uh, let's do this one, and then just kind of mess around with it and type in your name. And there you go, not too bad. Pretty easy and it's 100% free. That's why I like this app. There's nothing else to it. It's 100% free and it does the job. So, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope it was helpful. If you have any other ideas for quick little editing tutorials I can make like this, put them in the comments below and I will make them. Thank you so much for watching and I'll, uh, I'll see you guys in the next one.